Values of people. 2. TV or not TV. My family loves television. My earliest memories are of watching TV with my family. I think we had five or six television sets at home. The bedrooms, the kitchen, everywhere. At least one television was on all of the time. When I went to university, I lived in a dormitory my first year. Of course, I had a TV. So I continued watching my favorite programs. But after a while, I realized I had a problem. My courses were hard, much harder than high school. And there was a lot of homework. Also, I felt stressed in my new environment. I started watching more TV to help me relax. Guess what? Soon I was spending more time watching TV than I was on homework. Plus, I didn't have a lot of friends. Maybe a childhood full of television made me less social. At the end of my first year, my grades weren't very good, and I was really disappointed in myself. At home that summer, I watched television with my family a lot. At first, I thought it was great. But then I noticed something. We talked all the time, but always about TV. Something was missing. Television brought us together, but in a way, it also kept us apart. When I got back to university, I made up my mind to do better. I walked into my dormitory and started to turn the TV on. But then an idea popped into my head stop watching TV. Suddenly, it became crystal clear. My old friend television was really my enemy. It had kept me from getting good grades and from making friends. I had to stop watching TV. I did. I quit. I gave away my television and I've never looked back. I started doing better in school, made more friends, actually started having more energy. I don't know if I'll continue to lead a TV free life, but if I do watch television again, it won't be like before. I have vowed that television will never again be a major part of my life. Thank、you